guys welcome back to my channel today i am back with another makeup tutorial very very overdue you guys have been requesting this for so long this is what i've been doing recently in most of my instagram photos obviously sometimes i'll like make it a little bit more intensified you know add a little bit more eyeshadow or something but for the most part, this is what I've been doing with my base recently. So if you guys would like to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Well, that way. I don't know. Alrighty, so I'm starting off with a clean face. And what I'm going to do first is just prime. I'm using my Tatcha Primer. I've been using this for years. I actually really like want to try out heaps of new makeup so if you guys can recommend like any good primers i feel like foundations and concealers i'm pretty good with but anything else that you guys can recommend that would be amazing oh and then i'm just gonna fill in my brows quickly i'm just gonna fast forward through this Next up, I'm just going to be going in with my Hollywood Flawless Filter. I do go in with foundation over the top of this, so I'm not really sure how much of a difference it makes. But I don't know. I feel like I just kind of use it because everybody else uses it. I think I potentially use it on its own if the color actually matched me. I think it's just like... I mean, my body is like a lot darker than my face and my neck. It's just always been like that. I don't know why, but my face and my neck just doesn't tan as much as my body does maybe because i'm like sitting on my phone when i am tanning so it's like my body is flat but then my face and my neck is like sitting up if you know what i mean so maybe i need to fix that and just like lay flat but that's a lot of product isn't it this does add a really really nice glow to the skin going in with my beauty blender and kind of just patting everything out next up i'm just going to be taking my nars light reflecting foundation this is in the shade toho which again still is a little bit oh my god um still is a little bit dark for me at the moment also guys my foundation pump is literally broken and it all just like comes out the sides it doesn't pump down properly and dispense product properly which i've heard a lot of people have had problems with that with this foundation and it's so annoying like it's just so messy but I do really really like it it just like blends into your skin so nicely mostly with my foundation I focus it around this area and then with whatever's left on my brush I blend upwards only because I do apply a lot of concealer under my under eye area so I just don't want it to look too cakey for concealer I'm just going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade golden beige i've been using this for like three years now and i just love it the kosas concealer i love more so for like um super super light makeup looks and like this one you obviously can you know not apply heaps and it'll still look quite um like light i guess the coverage i mean but i just love how this looks on my skin I see a lot of tiktoks trying to like tell people and people arguing about what the right concealer placement is but i honestly think it's just different for everyone's face but honestly the combo of this foundation and this concealer is so so good and i'm just going to be going in with my trusty charlotte tilbury cream bronzer which i need to get more of this actually this is another thing that's shit for traveling because if you get squeezed in your makeup bag it will be going everywhere be joining the rest of the packaging in your makeup bag i'll tell you that for free of charge i honestly just love this shade for contouring it is perfect right under here as well i've got a few um different favorite uh like cream contour brushes depending on what product i'm using but for this particular one i really love the morphe m404 brush just any small stippling brush that's not super dense is perfect for this because it really just blends it out seamlessly into your skin especially because it is quite a dark shade you don't want something that's going to be too dense otherwise it's literally just gonna look way too much i'm gonna take a lighter shade of my born this way concealer this one's in the shade almond what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna clean up oh, the middle here and then i'm also gonna apply it here and then dragging it out 
And then at this point, I always feel like everything looks a little bit too harsh. So I go in with just like an angled, dense little brush and I kind of just go over everything without any product on the brush and blend everything out, make sure that, you know, everything is blended seamlessly, especially over here. This is actually a new trick that I've been doing recently. So I've been taking my blush. I'm using the Scott Barnes blush palette today. Look at all these gorgeous colors. Literally just mix together like these four colors and I'll apply it now before I set my face and then I'll go in again later and I'll re-intensify everything then. And then I go in with my trusty Huda Beauty uh, banana bread loose powder. I love this. Instead of baking my under eyes as well, I kind of just like pack the product in. And the only place that I really bake is right next to my nose. And then I'm just going to be taking a little brush, taking a little bit more of that powder and dusting over the top of my eyes. As for bronzer, I'm going to go in with my trusty MAC Give Me Sun. Every time we go back into summer, I just go back to this. I feel like in winter I use my Morphe Glamour Bronzer a lot. I've recently as well, surprisingly enough, I can't believe this is even coming out of my mouth, but I've actually been preferring the look of blush over bronzer. I think this just adds a really nice color to your face. Also under my jawline. I go in with, again, my favorite contour shade. This is the Hoola Caramel. And then I'm just going in with this little brush. You can literally just use any brush for this, but I'm just going to be touching up my nose contour. Again, I'm just really going in with a light hand with everything. Usually for nighttime photos, I do kind of go a little bit more heavy handed with my products because I really want it to stand out in photos. And then I'm just taking my Morphe M530 brush, which is just like a really nice small contour brush. Contouring a little bit more. Now I'm just going to take my Give Me Sun again and I'm going to take my Makeup by Mario EF1 brush and I'm taking the more fluffier, bigger end. This is actually quite a dense, big brush, but it's good because it really just like packs the product. And I always love using whatever bronzer I've used in my crease. I just literally apply, apply it, applied on so messily. Now moving on to highlighter. I'm still using my sleek Cleo's Kiss Sphinx Mono Highlighter. I should actually probably throw this out. This is probably like way off and I'm going to be taking this on my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush the name of it's literally rubbed off that's how long I've had it for but it's just like my favorite and then I just take any small random brush basically just whichever one I grab my hands on first I get my hands on first sorry not grab and I apply this also into my inner corner under my eyes and then I kind of do like an exclamation point so I stop right here and I do a little dot on the tip of my nose, up my lip. Next I'm just going to be taking my Makeup by Mario Master Mattes palette and I'm kind of just like mixing these two bottom shades together on an angled liner brush and I'm just going to do a bit of a winged liner moment. I just think it adds like a little bit of something. Okay, I'm not sure if I zoomed in my camera a little bit at the start of this, but I just had to go grab my lashes. I'll show you guys the lashes that I use actually. The lashes that I use are from Ayalua. They're the most wanted gimme gimme lashes. And what I do is I cut them in half or just over halfway. And I just stick the lashes onto my outer corners. The lash glue that I use is the Duo Lash Glue. Then I'm just going to be taking my Shiseido Lash Curler. This is like the best lash curler I've ever used. I think I got it from Mecca. For mascara, I'm just using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. I'm gonna go in with my lips, taking my Morphe Sweet Tea Lip Liner. I'm gonna need to get a new one of these very soon. And what I actually also do is I rub off like any lip balm or anything that's on my lids. The product just applies better and it stays better as well.
For lips, I always get questions on what lip gloss I use. It is the Kylie High Gloss in the shade Are You Fancy. This is my favorite. It's probably like a little bit too glittery for a lot of people. I mean, this is like perfect for the holidays. I use it all year round. I'm just gonna quickly go over my brows. I don't really like for my brows to look too perfect. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on in my dishwasher at the moment, but it doesn't sound good. And then lastly, I'm gonna be going in with some brow gel. I'm trying to finish this one so I can try the Emco Beauty one because they actually sent that to me as like PR. All I need to do is just touch up my blush. Okay guys, so here we have the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. As you guys know, I'm not really like a makeup person, so I'd love to keep doing makeup tutorials in the future, but definitely let me know if you guys like the whole like talking thing or if you guys just want like, you know, very straight to the point. But yeah, I hope you guys all have the best week ever and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.